This big weekend continues as we welcome you to Brookings, South Dakota, and what is set to be the coldest game ever here. Montana State, number four in the country, 12 and one on the year, and South Dakota State, number one, also 12 and one, winners of 12 straight. Hines the tight end in motion off to the right side. Gronowski to throw for the first time. He's got it over the top, and it's a South Dakota State touchdown to Tucker Craft. 36 yards, the strike right through the heart of the Bobcats defense. It's a pass because the run game has already been violent. It's already been downhill. You can see the safety number six step up, Miles Jackson. And a lot on the run. He can throw it here. He does. And a ping-ponging catch. Nicely done by Clee Van Thomas, who took two hits on his. A lot to throw under heavy pressure into single coverage. Oh, what a catch by Thomas inside the 10 yard line. Flag is down as he reached out the right hand to make that catch. Well, the football equally well. Chambers sneaks to the line, tries to sneak his way into the end zone. Jack Rabbits were ready and waiting, and he is marked short. There was this. Chambers by himself, gives it one more shot, and falls across the goal line. Touchdown Montana State on fourth and goal. There's and with be maybe more points scored than they anticipated, Montana State isn't really built to play catch up. And so fourth and inches is a great time to go for it when you have, have a to make a good decision at that position. They give it to Davis. He slips through an O'Reilly tackle, shoulders off another, and drags a third inside the red zone. That's 220 pounds of power going for 20 yards. First and goal. Ranowski to Davis, and he's down at the goal line. In between the one yard line and the goal line for Isaiah Davis with the Jackrabbits looking to make it two touchdowns at any time. Getting right back to the line here. Gronowski sneaking it and he is into the checkerboard end zone. Touchdown, South Dakota State. A lot three of three. He throws into single coverage again, and it's Willie Patterson with the catch down the sideline for a Bobcats first down. This is what happened last year, and it was unbelievable how effective Balot and his group of receivers that primarily runs the ball against a three-man rush. And they do not regain the original line of scrimmage. Stopped at the 34-yard line today in South Dakota. So it's Mark who now has some catching up to do to his brother here today, trying to get South Dakota State to the national championship game. Amar Johnson, the running back, the catch, the first down, and a leveling tackle by Ty Okada. Tim from the 41. And it's Davis with a big hole to run through, and everybody in the rear view mirror. Touchdown, Isaiah Davis, 41-yard scamper to the house to the second level and I think you're going to see it out of the right tackle O'Brien right here is going to pull off to the right side also the uncovered center Gus Miller will lead it as as well and it's zone run at times to get their running back Davis downhill but then they pull 600 pounds and create another point of attack and Isaiah Davis does a fantastic job go. Off the field here on third down. Malott had time, and then all of a sudden it was wiped away. First on the scene was Cade Turveer, and the rest in blue followed. On the ground currently. Gronowski flings it up the sideline. Tucker Kraft, who's already caught a touchdown, grabs that before it goes out of bounds. Out of tight end. Difficult to defend. Here's Kraft, the tight end goes under center and gets the push for the first down. It's a team effort. Find a way to get off the field. The Bobcats will get the ball to start the third quarter, but they'd love to have the score hold. Jack Rabbits have other plans. Amar Johnson with a touchdown run. Johnson, 
This is a very similar play that Isaiah Davis scored on just the different direction. You get guys stretched out. Go to NCAA.com, your official online home for all 90 NCAA championships. South Dakota State right back to it, and a big play to start this drive. Jackson Yonke, his first touch of the day, and it's into Montana State territory. 216 yards in that first half. Any semblance of play action puts so much pressure on the defensive side, and this is almost like a Tim Tebow jump pass type of look and then October the on the road looking for a rematch which would come in the championship game the rare third down seven yards to go and Jackson Yankee sinking into the frozen turf makes the catch all Americans first team all Missouri Valley Football Conference on the left side of that offensive line it's floated to Johnson and there's nobody in coverage Another Jackrabbits touchdown. That one, the easiest of the day. Great deal of communication going on. A lot of attention being paid to Zach Hines coming inside. The receiver sitting outside of him. Quick throw, and it works. Jaden Yonke for two. Everything South Dakota wants. The profession, you are married to the team and the game. John Stigelmeyer has made a happy life out of both. And a great day for his South Dakota State Jackrabbits. Derek Snell on the return here for Montana State, barreling his way up the sideline. And this, if there's going to be a comeback. Seen here, on average, they've needed to pick up 10 yards on third down. Malat doesn't have room to run for it. He throws to the end zone, and the ball bounces away from Pickering. The slides team. to the right, keeps his eyes downfield and finds Pickering, and this ball just slides right through. And that's what I was talking about. The feel of the ball is completely different. A, it's hard, and B, there's this. And Malat unleashes. That's a difficult catch to make. Cleveland Thomas, as we've seen since, since the first quarter. A lot on the scramble from 10 yards out, and he's plunked out of bounds by Isaiah Stallberg. Malat veers left to the five. He's got room at the goal line, and Tommy Malat has a Montana State touchdown. Taking his lumps, this South Dakota State defense is a physical bunch. They're athletic in the secondary. And then it's that Thram that just wanted to take one more step past where they were a year ago. And here they have done it. And the Dakotas are going to be front and center in Frisco in just a few weeks for a national championship opportunity.